Arthur Clark here. Um, okay, yeah, just it's been a minute since I've used the live stream from Facebook. So that took, they added extra things in, which is great. <laughs> um, so just, uh, just adjusting everything. Oh, very nice. I got poles in here too. Oh, I like it. Um, so this is a nice little play, play time for me. And I thought I would go live for you guys and talk about, um, six figure launch secrets. So, you know, how to, how to launch, right? How to get those six figure launches. Um, I know people talk about it, but nobody, everyone talks about the, what it is, like, what is it that you're doing? We're going to have six figure launches. Awesome. Why do we want six figure launches? Because it gets us in front of more people. We make more impact. Um, we make money, right? Six figures keeps us going in our business. Um, and believe it or not, six figures doesn't go a whole long way when you have a team and you have taxes and what's left over, especially when you're working really hard, right? So, but that's another topic for another time. Um, but nobody really captures the how, how to launch, how do I launch, um, for myself and what I tell everybody is like, well, how have you launched in the past? So one of the first things, hey, Amy, how's it, how are you doing, lady? Um, one of the things I tell everybody is you really want to know how you've launched in, in the past and how those launches have gone. So just a raise of hands, how many of you guys have, and, and don't forget just before we move on, put hashtag live if you're live and hashtag replay if you're watching the replay. Um, but just, just a show of hands, how many of you guys have actually, um, done a roundup after each of your launches, even if it's just you, you just, you don't have to have a team to have a roundup. So what I find when I, when I, when I have new clients coming in and we talk about their launches, um, is that I'm like, okay, so what was your, what was your roundup? What was your, um, your end results? And they're like, what's that? <laughs> like, what's, what is, what's a roundup? So a lot of people don't take the time to come back to what went really well in a launch and what went really poorly in a launch. And this is, this is essential information. You really want to have this information um, ahead of time before you plan your next launch. So any good coach, so a lot, we've got a lot of coaches in here, so let's bring it over to sports coaching. So any good sports coach is gonna watch the game after the game is already done. Win or lose, they're gonna go back and watch the game. They're gonna assess. So before you do your next launch, my recommendation to all, everybody, everybody who's doing any type of launch is to go back and assess the last one. If you haven't done a launch yet, awesome. Just keep it in your planner that you wanna go ahead and assess. So first things first, before we do our next six figure launch, what do we have to do? We have to assess the prior launch. We have to know it went really well. So what are some of the things that you're looking for in your assessment? Well, you, you wanna know what went really well. And sometimes what went really well is not the sales that you did. I'm gonna say it again. Sometimes the, what went really well is not the sales. <laughs> so you may have discovered that everything went really well except the sales it's still a positive. So if you guys are like, well, it just sucked. <laughs> My launch just sucked because I didn't, I didn't sell anybody or I sold like two people. And so what I like to say to them, I'm like, okay, you sold two people. Congrats. That's awesome. How many did you sell before? Well, that's the first time I launched. I'm like, so this is, this is a positive for you. Um, so you really want to look at all the positives. Then you can go to the negatives. If you can't quite get there, then you can have, you can have your moments to say this went wrong, this went wrong, this went wrong right? So list it out, positives, negatives, how you decide to start is totally up to you. I like to start with positives. Um, I start with positives because I'm doing roundups with my teams or with my clients team. So it's always a positive. So do I do that for myself? No, I do it for the team. Do I, part of me does it for myself for sure. Um, but it's a lot easier to take in feedback that's not ideal if we start with the positives, right? So when we're looking at assessments, positive, negative, positive. So I actually put in more positives at the end, which is usually kind of like a moral of the story. Um, so the moral is, is that we're awesome at doing our marketing and bringing tons of people into the launches, but we need to work on the sales process on the way out, right? So that's kind of, that's just a roundup with a team. So 
information, positives, negatives, and then moral. Like, what is it? What is all in all? What did I learn? What did I take away? And then it may even be that next launch, we don't need to do A, B, and C because it actually didn't convert. Um, it wasn't it wasn't as essential as we thought it was going to be, so we can just let that one go. And then your next launch, you have only the positive things that you took from the last launch, right? So that's the first thing for a six-figure launch. You have to assess the prior launches. Um, best to do it right after a launch while it's still fresh, while you can still remember everything that happened during the launch. Um, you can even start setting up your assessments during your, your current launch if you want to. <coughs> Most people will bring it in last minute. So you're like, oh, we're going to talk about this piece. It's like, so for launching. But yes, it's really important. So what are some of the other important pieces to know with your six-figure launch? Well, the next thing is, is that this is why we do the assessment. The next thing we need to know is that we need to know the numbers. So what, what, were, some of the, what were some of the downsides? Like, did, did you guys take enough time during the assessment to actually see well, you know what, this went really well. If we had more traffic, then this would have been a phenomenal launch. So we want to take that information as well. So what are some of the things that didn't have, that were positives, but didn't, you didn't have enough time? It's, I call it not enough, right? The not enoughs. So it could be not enough traffic, right? Not enough time. And these are pretty, these are pretty standard guys for people who are launching. Um, not enough visibility. Um, you know, the product needed more bonuses. Um, we didn't have enough hype, all those things. So what is it that you could have, that went well, but you could have used more of? So before the next launch, we need to know that. And then we need to set a plan in place. So assessment, what are the things that went well? What do we need more of? And then plan, so planning. So we take all those pieces. This, this is step by step by step. These are your foundations, guys, and nobody teaches this because they're like, oh, it's super boring. I'm like, no, it's really exciting when you know what you're going to do with it. Um, so what is it that we need to do? What do we need to put in place for a plan? So if we look at this, we're like, we didn't have enough traffic or um, we have to ask ourselves, was it not enough traffic or did we not nurture that traffic enough? You see, we really pick pick apart launches before we jump in with someone on their next one. So did we not have enough traffic or did we just not nurture them enough? Because sometimes we don't need a lot, a lot of traffic. We just need to nurture more. It could be a combination of A and B. Most of the time it is. Mo it's more traffic, more nurture. So great. Know that, putting that in the plan. Awesome. Break that piece of the plan down. How are we going to nurture them? Do we need more emails? No, they don't like emails. Okay, what do they like? Well, they like Facebook messages. Okay, so we need a chat bot. Awesome. Um, or we just we need something else. P.S. There is something else. Um, great. More nurture. We need more traffic. Awesome. How are we going to do that? And then we list out all those ideas. And trust me, guys, there, there are a million and one ideas when it comes to bringing in traffic. So many ideas. We have tested out maybe not a million, but I'd say in honesty, I'd say at least 500 ideas when it comes to traffic. Probably more. Um, <clears throat> but we've been doing this for 13 years, so that's that's a big reason why. Yeah, there's probably more than 500 now that I say that. Um, all right, traffic, ideas, awesome. Do we need more ideas? We may need more ideas. So what do we do with more ideas? We go and ask, how are you guys launching in a big Facebook group or in this space? How are you guys launching? Like, what, what, did you, what did you do that worked really well? So go get some more ideas, go get some inspiration, um, see what you can find, add it to the list. We're gonna plan it out. Awesome, what else did we not have enough of? <coughs> well, we didn't have enough time. All right, we didn't have enough time. What did we not have enough time to do? And most of the time when this is the question, most of the time when it's not enough time, is that it is enough time for the actual launch. So when we're doing the promo, when we're doing the offering, it's usually enough time. What we didn't have enough time is the, is the pre-launch nurture. So a lot of people don't think about it that way. Just like, I just didn't have enough traffic because I wasn't doing lead generation before I started my launch period. So a launch period, guys, 
you want you want four weeks some people like six weeks um, it does depend on your plan so the other piece is is that if any of you guys have done summits or are doing summits then the promo period is not for six weeks it's actually more like three weeks two weeks actually I think it's down to two weeks before and some people just do it a week before so when I say that it's not actually a time thing that you need more time it's usually that you need more nurture before there because we've actually turned around and launched in less than five days and had a six-figure launch had the idea and it was we have a group of people they all are in they're all nurtured what do we what do we need to do what do we need to give them what's the next step then we like oh well this makes a lot of sense launch it six-figure launch done so when I say it's not so much about the time it's about the time you put in before the launch period can be anywhere from a week we've launched in a week um, to six to eight weeks so I just like to clarify that for everyone I'm like it's not necessarily that you need more time during the launch it's the pre-launch stuff that you need more time on so you need to clarify that is it that piece awesome if it's not no worries it can be it can be that we need we just need some more time or maybe we need some more planning time um, so that's two <clears throat> not enough not enough traffic not enough time and yes I am pretty much saying that this is actually what it is everybody says it's this I'm actually telling you guys the how and like what it is okay so what's what are some of the other things we don't have enough traffic not enough time and um, another very popular one when it comes to launch is visibility people don't see me right so the other piece of that is how am I supposed to be visible when there's so much noise I mean if I'm offering a product that everybody else is offering and I'm not the best marketer because the loudest and the best salesperson marketer is the one that usually wins I mean it's I, I hate to say it guys it's true the loudest is winning right now on the online space they really are they're loud yeah and they and they can have something very basic for their programs but because they have everyone's ears they're the ones that are gonna get in front of them so if you've ever had sales conversations where someone's like this is awesome but I'm already working with so-and-so big influencer and I'm gonna go through their program because it was really expensive yeah heard that one before or I already have a coach and even if you're not a coach I hear it all the time I already have a coach and I'm like I'm not a coach <laughs> I don't do I don't do the coaching I do the strategy but it's the same thing now why is this happening it's because you weren't loud enough is it because you weren't visible not necessarily I mean you could be even extremely visible but your messaging um, peters out it's not innovative enough I mean it's not <clears throat> it just doesn't stand out um, actually another another influencer out there told people to do the same thing over and over and that's why they're not having success and I'm like wait a second I'm like I don't think that's why they're not having success <laughs> I think they're not having success because you're telling them do the same thing and you're not actually saying over and over again you're not telling them and make it interesting so that's kind of my thing is like okay well we can do the same thing over and over but it's still gonna get the same results we'll get in, we'll improve on it but we also have to look at everything as all right this didn't work this way so I need to actually test and tweak my messaging or who I'm offering it to and that that requires change that requires to do some things differently so you can have the same rinse and repeat repeat process um, just make sure it's working first so but I digress I'm gonna come back um, so visibility it doesn't have to be that you have to get tons of Facebook ads either because everybody feels like oh the only way to get visible is Facebook ads here's the thing with Facebook ads if everybody is using Facebook ads which they've gotten a little more expensive so we're pulling the reins back a little bit on that <clears throat> but here's why Facebook ads are getting more expensive you've got bigger companies coming in and they're willing to spend more per client acquisition so it's not even a visibility thing at this point they're expensive because some companies and some big name coaches are willing to spend more per client acquisition because on the back end they're gonna make up for it it may not be for this particular Facebook ad and what it leads into but they know their numbers they've been around enough 
So they know the system and funnels and this is at the end number. Yes, we can spend $100 per client we get because we're going to get five grand on the back end. It's going to take six to 12 months for that. So that's why they're expensive. That's why it's costing you more. That's why your visibility isn't quite there, right? So like, I know it's kind of a womp womp. Oh, great. Now what am I supposed to do? So here's where visibility matters. Visibility matters when you have your people in a container. What's a container? Well, I actually call them prospect pools. Um, it's a play on the, the science of it. Prospect pool is a place where you have a nice little habitat, container, safe space. People can come in um, and you can nurture them. And you have full, full visibility because you own the container. So that is a great piece of visibility. You don't have to do ads. Facebook groups, it's a container. It's visibility because people can come back and watch anytime. You can have a conversation with them in the DMs. You can um, do engagement posts and ask them a ton of different questions to get, them know, to get to know them more. So your visibility doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be tough. It doesn't have to be thousands in some cases, hundreds of thousands. Yeah, I do have those clients. <coughs> thousands of dollars down the drain because they didn't create a container to further nurture or they couldn't compete with the, the cost of acquisition. So that's the piece. So we've got, we've got traffic, we've got time, we've got visibility, and we've got answers for all of those. When it comes to traffic, there are thousands of ways to bring in traffic without doing ads, right? There's so many ways to bring in traffic. And I'm just going to say it, sometimes it's not a traffic issue. Sometimes it's a nurture. So you have to decipher it's a, nur uh, a nurture. And if you don't have a container, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bet 80% of you, it's because you need a container. So what are the pieces? More traffic and better traffic and nurtured traffic. So those are your bullet points for those. That's what you need for traffic. Time, not a time thing, it's a nurture thing. Have you spent enough time nurturing them? You may need more time, but it may not be for the launch. So what are you doing in between your launches? Are you nurturing people? Are you spending a lot of time bringing them in and making them feel good? I mean, it should feel like grandma's chocolate chip cookies when they come into to your space and they get to talk to you or something else. Some of them don't want that. Some of them just want the tough love piece. You know, I, I, I get that. I like that too. I like people to call me out on my stuff. Um, and they do because I tell them to and they do it anyway. And I'm like, it's okay. I like it. So that's the kind of piece that you need. Not necessarily timing. It's more, it's more about you doing the work before and putting in the time before. So that could be one of your launch issues. And then <coughs> The third thing, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, a little bit of a cold. It always lands in my throat, too. It's so funny. All right. So what's number three? Visibility. It depends. Where are you trying to be visible? Are you trying to be visible in front of everyone and throw it against the wall and hope it sticks? Or are you trying to be visible in front of people who you already have a you know, like and trust factor with? You have to ask yourself the, the tough questions. And if it's, if it's that, oh gosh, I'm just trying to be visible in front of as many people as possible, fingers crossed, that it'll work for me, um, it's time to take a step back. What is it that you really want? Who do you really want in? Who is perfect for your offerings? Ask yourself that and then ask yourself the tough question again. Am I being visible in front of them? And am I being visible in front of them in a way where they can see me? So if the answer is no, we need to get you a container. And some of you guys have containers. Some of you guys have Facebook groups. I know there's a ton of people in here that have Facebook groups. How are you promoting the Facebook group? How are you getting your ideal people in? How are you filtering people once you get your, once you get your potential ideal clients in the door? How are you being visible in front of them? So those are the questions that I that I do pose for everybody when we're talking about launches. 
I'm sure it gave you guys a lot of insights. Most people don't, they don't know this because it's not taught. It's not taught to people. It's not taught to think about this. It's not taught to break this down into unravel what a launch really looks like. It's not taught to people how to show up in the world, in their business with a marketing mindset because there's a bad word on marketing, right? Marketing is actually really great. Marketing is, it's science, it's art, it's creative, it's methodical, it's thinking about things in a different way. It's thinking about people, your people, um, and what is going to be best for them. There's a lot of service that comes within marketing. So that's why it's not being taught. It's not something that people can get excited about. And it really is. It can be really exciting with your marketing, especially when you start putting the pieces of the puzzle together and seeing people come in. It's just like, wow, I did it. This person is exactly who I was trying to target and they came in. So these are some of the ways to have a six figure launch. Once you have these pieces in place, then it's time to scale. So you can have a really good idea when you've assessed, you've assessed your last launch based on the last launch. If we make these tweaks, then what is it going to take to get the six figure? Now is your, is the next one going to be a six figure launch? If you take all this information that I gave you, it may not be, but it at least give you guys a head start on making that next one a six figure. So with that said, um, I do have a way for you guys to get to your six figure launches much, much quicker. You don't need Facebook ads. Like this is the best thing about what I'm offering you guys. And you only have a couple more hours to join. Um, this is what you need to do. If Facebook is your playground, we have, we have a way of you guys having six figure launches and what it requires. It doesn't require ads. It does require using a couple of apps that work phenomenal for us. And it does require that you guys come and work with me personally for four one hour calls and we get you set up and we get you moving. So what is it that we're going to do? We're going to start tonight. So at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, because I've got a lot of West Coast people. Um, so this will be right around your dinner time. You can come in and you can learn from me for the next four weeks, the next four Tuesdays in August and we can get your launch plan in place. And the reason I'm offering that in August is that there's a lot of us that are going to be launching in September. September is a big, big launch month. October is a really big launch month. Actually, October ends up being our biggest launch month um, of the whole year. So usually October and then January, they end up being big launch months. So if you guys are planning on a September and October launch, you want to get in on this. And it's only 197 to get coached by me for four weeks. You're going to learn processes. Like I said, this is for people whose playground, their traffic sources are from Facebook. You don't have to get Facebook ads. I'm not going to require that. Is it going to help? Mm, depends. It just depends. If you've had success on Facebook ads, yeah, we can rev up with that. Um, but this is actually showing you guys how to take those three steps, which is, which is the first one you know, it's traffic. So we're going to, but it's not just any traffic. It's aligned traffic, aligned traffic. We're going to get in front of our people. We're going to get in front of them. They will notice us. They're not going to be able to not because we're going to nail the messaging. We're going to know exactly what it is that they need from us. They're already asking for it. Like they already know they need it. We just have to put it right in front of them. That's the other thing. We're making it so hard on ourselves. Just show, you got to show up where they are. They're already needing it. So we're going to make that easier. Um, the second thing, it's the time. Well, you're going to put in some pre stuff. You're going to put in some pre launch um, nurturing so that by the time you offer it, they're like, oh my gosh, I thought you would never ask. <laughs> Just playing with me. So that's, that's number two. And then the third, the third and final is we're going to put people in a container. If you already have one, great. We're going to ramp it up and we're going to monetize it. So if you guys need this, if you know that this is the missing piece, <coughs> I'm going to throw the link in here at the bottom. Go sign up, 197. As soon as you're signed up, we'll flip you the Zoom link for tonight, and then you can come. There will be a replay if you can't make it this week. No worries. You can watch the replay. Um, we may even have a secondary phone call if we need to just to get you guys caught up, and then we'll keep going. But this is what you need if you're launching next month. So again, I'll drop it for you guys, 
and I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed my little launch. Um, I was pretty much standing on my soapbox. I'm like, this is how not to launch and this is how to launch next. So that's, that's what we do. That's what we know how to do. And we really know how to fill these launches with simple. That's the other thing. These steps are really simple. Anyone can do them. Um, and it will make a huge difference in your business. It doesn't even have to be just a launch period. This is going to help you monetize in such a huge way in the online space. So I hope you guys come in. I'll talk soon.